Good morning, everyone. Uh, today, I will talk about our work uh, of using advanced vector extension IVX512 for IPI reductions. Uh, first, I will talk about our motivation and the background uh, of this work. Then, I will talk about the detailed uh, design and impl impl implementation in uh, OpenIPI. Then, we evaluate this work using a machine learning application. Uh, as we uh, analysis and uh, demonstrate the result with a uh, uh, performance counter uh, to uh, puppy as a, and also a benchmark. At last, I will give a brief summary at the, uh, about the, our work and also the future work. So as we know, our IPI is widely used in uh, different research areas at all different platforms. Uh, we can see here from the top five hardware list, uh, the seven of the top 10 machines are using uh, MPIS, which is uh, pre-installed. And the top three machines are using MPI. Uh, also here, uh, uh, AWS is using OpenAPI as their default API, and also it is widely used in uh, machine learning platforms. Uh, Tensor, uh, TensorFlow introduced API interface for uh, distributed uh, compute parallel uh, training, and also Uber have this uh, platform called uh, Hardware, which is a distributed uh, uh, platform for uh, distributed machine learning training. As the goal of uh, this work is that we want to deliver the best performance on all systems, uh, which means we need to be able to take advantage of all the hardware capabilities, especially for those uh, processes and the hardware that support a lot of vector ex uh, extensions. So this is this 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 figure shows. Uh, the scale out sequence of uh, uh, reduction operation. Consider if you have two buffers, you want to do an addition. So in the for loop, you need to load the uh, element from the first buffer, and then you load the element from uh, the second buffer, and then you do an addition, and then you store the result to the memory. So this is how our uh, Scala code works. And for vector operation, so you can load multiple elements into one vector using one load instruction, and then use another load instruction for multiple elements and do one addition for all those elements. And for uh, Intel AVX, so in, Intel has three uh, AVX, one is AVX, uh, AVX2, and AVX512. So you can use all those AVX, you can use vector operations, so with different vector layers, you can process different amount of, of elements in one vector. So this is uh, this the last plot shows uh, how a uh, wide vector looks. Uh, Intel has this uh, introduced the uh, advanced vector uh, in last ten years. It starts from AVX as uh, it. Uh, then AVX2 as the most recent one, most recent uh, processor that support AVX512. <coughs> and the potential version of this work is that uh, for there are two types of uh, applications we consider. So for the traditional SPC applications, uh, we consider those uh, communication. Uh, Computation oriented collective such as IPI or reduce IPI reduce, uh, which do a uh, reduction or a uh, data along with communications. When those data are very big, the reduction takes a very long time. Uh, we want to uh, optimize those reduction operations, which can drive up the uh, performance of the collective, uh, which eventually will benefit the overall op application performance. And also, we noticed that in those uh, new applications, such as machine learning and distributed training applications, uh, they will they use uh, MPI reduce to 
reductions of their uh, gradients in order to update the weights of their training. And for those kind of reduction operations, uh, they have two uh, <clears throat> they have two characters. Why is that? The number of the reduction operation is very signif significant during a single run. And also the data sets used by each reduction operation is extremely large. So if we can uh, optimize those reduction operations and we speed up those reduction operations, we can speed up the whole training process. Uh, in this work, we use uh, AVX intrinsics to uh, implement our uh, ideas. So uh, AVX using Intrix has uh, three major reasons and advantages. First is that Intrix will provide uh, access to uh, ISA functionalities by using uh, C style coding instead of using assembling language. And the cost of writing and making a code that using Utrix is uh, less than writing a stable code. Also, Utrix allows uh, developers to obtain performance close to the level achieved by uh, Facebook with assemblies. So we we applied our work in uh, in two. Uh, components in Open API. We int we introduced two uh, modules. Uh, one is in uh, Open API operations. One is in uh, collective. Actually, it's not like actually we introduced one in uh, collectives. So we use the one uh, we introduced in uh, uh, reduction operation mo reduction module for all the uh, collectives. And also for our uh, implementation, our code can automatically detect whether the hardware or platform supports uh, AVX. Also, we check the uh, CPU flags to uh, detect uh, if it supports AVX 512 or it supports AVX 2 or it supports uh, SSE, which is uh, AVX. Uh, de detecting uh, complex flags that specialize in different versions of MPA operations for different functions that is uh, not that easy. We need to uh, compile different versions of those supported uh, operations and load and automatically load those versions that are supported by the uh, hardware. Uh, for our implementation, we support uh, different types uh, with API types and API operations. So this this table shows uh, those uh, the combination of all the API types and operations in API standard. We support it. We support majority of those uh, reduction operations, except for those uh, those are not uh, applicable, which is the uh, byte operation of float and double. Uh, the table two shows uh, the su the supported uh, instruction sets of our work. We support uh, AVX file tough, AVX two, and also S S AVX and SSS SSSE. So this this shows a detailed uh, overview of how we actually optimize the uh, reduction operation. First, if the system or hardware support AVS 512, we will, first we will use uh, the 512 bits uh, vectors to do the load, load and operation at the, the store. And for those remainder elements, which cannot fulfill our uh, 512 bits vector, we, we fall back to uh, AVX2, which is 256 bits vector. We use this for those remainders. Uh, for those re for those that cannot fulfill the 256 bits vector, we use uh, 138 bits uh, vector to do the uh, operation. Uh, for those Remember that cannot fulfill any vector which is like which is smaller than 
138 bits, we use DAF device. So we benefit two aspects uh, from DAF device. First, the loop is a road, which means that we try larger code size for more speed up by avoiding some of the overhead in involved in checking whether the loop is finished or a need to jump, jump back to the top of the loop. Also, for the first one, uh, in the switch statement, it allows code to jump in the middle of the loop, the switch statement for the first row. Uh, this is the result we are using uh, a harder word, uh, uh, step P2. Step P2 is a machine at uh, TMCC, uh, which support AVS 512 uh, bits, a uh, lot of actors. So we use a uh, CLM benchmark with uh, harder word. This is the result. We, we compare the result. We compare how many images we can try per seconds using the default uh, OpenAPI at the optimized IVX 5200 uh, OpenAPI. We can see compared to the element wise reduction, uh, we, with the increasing number of processes, our design shows the uh, increase, increasing improvements. We start at uh, 5% and eventually we reach to uh, 12% faster than default OpenAPI or different number of processors, processes. Uh, we, we noticed that with a uh, larger number of uh, uh, processes, we get more benefits. This is because that uh, the fact each, each when you have more, uh, multiple nodes and processes, uh, each of the node, node and process is using the optimized uh, reduction. Uh, this will drive, drive up the overall uh, application performance. Also, when you have multiple processes, the total size of the weights, the total size of the weights, which is a, a radius, will be larger, and which means that the reduction will dominate the overall runtime. By speed up the reduction latency, uh, we can contribute more to the overall application performance. Uh, then we use uh, uh, the performance uh, counter tool, Puppy, to analyze uh, so what what types of uh, how many. So it's like to to uh, analyze uh, how how did we uh, optimize the uh, how optimize at where our benefits come from. So this is an overview of the. Um, Total instructions, the load uh, load start instructions, and also the branching instruction of uh, using default OpenAPI as the wall uh, we implemented. So the red 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 markers are the instruction count of default OpenAPI. As the purple one is using uh, IVX, so we can see. Uh, we reduce the number of load and store instructions. So this is load and store instructions uh, by a factor of uh, 90. And also for branching instructions, uh, we de decrease the instruction number, uh, instruction count by uh, 60. And also we did a de detailed analysis of uh, what types of branching instruction uh, we actually decreased. So this is this plot shows the detail of uh, different types of branching uh, instructions, include uh, including branch instructions taken, not taken, and also instructions uh, mispred mispredict uh, instructions that are correctly predicted, uh, which will, which have a significant impact on performance. So we can because. We use the law vector, um, law vectors, which is 500 bits. And for the, if we are dealing with uh, U, uint eight, so we will decrease the for loop by a factor of 
or eight, which reduce the total control at branching uh, injunctions. Uh, does, so, but this is just the um, injunction count. So does does in, does less injunction count actually uh, means uh, less execution time? So we did another uh, experiment by using uh, our, act, uh, our reduction benchmark. So to see uh, how many, how much uh, we actually uh, reduced all those uh, operations. So we conducted our uh, experiments on our local cluster, uh, which is a, a Xeon uh, processor-based server uh, supports AVX v uh, our branch is based on Open API Master. Uh, also, the code now is in is pushed and merged in uh, Open API Master. Uh, our we conducted our experiments uh, thirty times, and here we provide the average. So this plot shows this plot shows the result of MPI B and operation. So it's it should be noted that uh, for the default Open API. Even we provide optimization uh, compiling flags, it did not it did it did not uh, generate all two vector rest codes. Uh, our our optimization is using infixes, which give us a complete control of the low level details. Uh, we can in this plot we can see uh, so the red wall. So the x axis is the. Uh, um, Size of the reduction buffer as the y axis is at, is the type of uh, how long it takes for the reduction operation to complete. Complete. So we compare uh, we compare uh, the default we compare default open MPI as our optimized uh, reduction operation, and also we compare to uh, mem copy. Why we compare to memory copy? Because that uh, reduction operation is a uh, memory bound operation that we want to compare with uh, the maximum achievable memory bandwidth, which will be achieved by memory copy. We can see uh, our optimized implementation performs increases with buffer size because for a small buffer, it's hard to uh, fulfill the uh, bandwidth. As uh, so we catch up to a uh, map copy here. Uh, so the purple uh, purple is our optimized operation. Uh, the difference here is that for map copy, you only have a uh, load and store for the data. But for reduction, you, you will have uh, two loads for each buffer. And uh, then so you will have the op one operation for each uh, uh, for each load, as though you will have one stop. So it at even with we can say even with the additional load and also the additional uh, operation, our performance is uh, uh, close to map copy. At uh, the right figure is uh, is how closer we are our opposition is uh, compared to a uh, map copy. So for those two uh, buffer sets, because uh, because map copy here because the buffer is too small, map copy for map copy it will be finished in it's like in zero seconds. So we we cannot uh, plot those bars because you you cannot divide. Uh, Zero. And he at four uh, one megabytes, we achieve our optimization achieves uh, sixty percent of max bandwidth. And with uh, with bigger uh, buffer, we will achieve more. And here you can see uh, the default open API is only ten percent of the uh, max bandwidth. Our work is like sixty percent. So we chose. Uh, Six, tip, six, six times faster than uh, the default operation. Uh, the conclusion is that uh, we introduced new reduction operation modules in OpenMPI using AVX in physics 
to support all kinds of API reduction operations uh, for multiple API types. Uh, we experiment with uh, Puppy performance evaluation tool and also benchmark, which shows our implementation is our implementation largely decrease uh, instruction counts and we achieve uh, 10 times speed up for uh, large buff size for also we uh, experiment with hardware for image process application. We can see our uh, reduction operation achieves uh, speed up with different number of nodes as we reach 12% improvements with uh, 1K processes. Uh, for future work, we want to apply the same principle of that type of edging, which, is, which means we can use uh, AVX scatter scatter for knock duker that type. And also we can extend this work to other uh, law vector extension, such as ARM's new uh, uh, law vector, the scalable vector extension, SVE, which it has uh, 2k bits love actors. Thank you. Thank you, Dong. So uh, let's see. Do we have any questions? Uh, again, please ask questions either on the Slack channel or uh, in the chat window. And um, if you would like to ask the question directly, um, I can temporarily make you a panelist. So, okay. Well, I have a question, Dong, then. So, uh, in order to achieve the maximum bandwidth, many times you need to use more than uh, one core per rank, right? Have you considered this? What core per rack? Actually, we use the uh, all cores uh, for each node. So are you deploying exactly. one rank per core or what is one your setup look like? Sorry? One rack per core. Okay. But in many real life applications, you know, people deploy less than one rank per core, right? And then they combine MPI with OpenMP or, you know, other solutions. So in that case, uh, um, have you considered how to, you know, leverage the maximum degree of parallelism by introducing, I don't know, uh, techniques that think, do some uh, multi-threaded uh, AVX 512 reductions and so on? So for this work, we didn't consider about that, but it will be interesting. We can uh, oh, look okay. at that later. And uh, a follow-up question. So how difficult is it if you went for this step to look at AVX 512 to go even further and you know do reductions on GPUs? Does the architecture of OpenMPI need to change significantly. Yeah. Can you comment on that? So I think uh, there's a lot of work using GPUs with uh, IPIs. This is definitely a very uh, interesting uh, direction. Uh, I think it will be, it will be very temp tempting to do work with GPUs. And so what, what would you consider uh, the next step, if you wanted to go in that direction, what would it be? To use GPUs, uh, we need to consider uh, to use uh, the communication channels uh, provided by GPUs, not using uh, CPUs, because uh, we can by doing this, we can use less map copies from the uh, whole CPU to GPUs. Any other questions? I think there's one over in the Slack. Oh, let's see. All right, so um, a question from the Slack channel. Could, yes. could an application reach similar improvements with user-defined reductions and AVX code? I, th I think... Uh, 
uh, for sure, users can provide their, their own defined reduction operations. Uh, but now this, now the uh, redu the AVX code is already in uh, OpenMPI master. You do, users don't need to uh, have their own uh, AVX based uh, reduction operation. If they can provide their own one, I'm not sure if they can achieve the uh, performance we get because we use uh, AVX 512 and AVX 2 and also AVX also tough device. So we have we have uh, four levels of optimization. And I'm not sure if the users want to write their own uh, reduction operations using all those uh, uh, instruction sets. Thank you. Um, very quickly, uh, one last question. How does your approach compare to in-network reductions? Are these available and enabled on the machines you tested on? Uh, those are very quite enabled uh, compared with in-network reduction. So I'm not sure uh, uh, what you are referring to network reduction. Are you referring to uh, those uh, function, those functionalities that provided by so some, sometimes sometimes the sometimes the networking hardware you know uh, can provide support for uh, reductions right yes so i i think uh if infinipad milinox infinipad provide those uh, functionalities but i didn't test those i'm not sure how this is comparable so. okay thank you very much